I'm blessed to serve in a community where brave men and women who work about, come on up here with me, bring your family if you will. We can't do without God and our family, I promise you. A month or so ago back, we had an incident. We gave an award to one gentleman. It was easy to locate. Some of the people in Union County live so far back in the woods, you got to go find them personally. Send the law after to get them and stuff. I'm not sure what. But we found him. And we had an incident on 100 where the new bypass is. Had a local that uh, had a medical incident wound up in the pond. As you know, we've already had fatalities with that retention pond. But we live in a community where people risk everything to help their neighbor. Without even thinking about it. They just do it because that's the nature of who they are. And I'm blessed to serve in a community like Bradford County. And Union County is our, our, our brother and sister. You know, that uh, in 1921, we had to put a, a boundary there, you know, kind of separate them. But uh, I can tell you, we're brothers and sisters with our, our neighboring community, and we have the like people. Hard-working, God-fearing Americans. And I'm proud to be part of it. And tonight, I, I do have to ask this question because... You don't swim. Can't swim. Can't swim. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Without risk to himself, all he's seen was somebody, you know, they, they responded, both of them, and he knows that a fellow man needed help. He didn't know it was a man or woman. I say man as a, as a common term. And you risk peril to yourself to help another. And for that, and on behalf of Bradford County, I say thank you to your family. You're blessed. So tonight, uh, Major Smith turned into the American Police Hall of Fame, the highest award you can get as a civilian. It's called the Life Saving Award. It's presented to Shandell Lee Jr. In recognition of your unselfish actions during an emergency situation resulting in the saving of a human life. Your proper application of training, experience, equipment, exemplifies your dedication to duty, the preservation of life, and service to our community. And once again, I say thank you I would like to present you with this plaque from the American Police Hall of Fame that will be there forever with your name. I'm going to get a picture with our commissioners. <laughs> and your personal letter from the American Police Hall of Fame. Thank you. Why won't you get you and your family to step with us and the commissioners up there? I apologize for that interruption, but 